baby. I just want to be in Maui when I snap my fingers. Cool. So tomorrow we're going to come out here with some machetes. Creepy. Lady. Good morning. Cats in the bus, cats in the bus. We got our cats all up in the bus. It was um, 15 hours. They were stuck in their bags. Two yeah, flights. It's actually more like 19 hours because our second flight, um, somebody had a heart attack. So as soon as we got up in the air, we had to land and then get onto a different plane. So they end actually ended up taking off three different times. So it took quite a long time to get here. And as soon as we got here and let them out, Akina peed all over the bed. Yeah. Well, we hadn't peed in hours and hours and hours. So we let them out and she just jumped out and started peeing. So... We're super excited to have them. There's the bean. Back on this beautiful piece of property here in upcountry uh, Maui. We could not be more thrilled to be back. Some things have changed and uh, we're going to be doing quite a few things to the spot that we're going to be parked at. Uh, in fact, we're actually going to be changing the spot we're parked at. We found a better spot that's kind of up and over the hill here. We're going to show you guys in a minute because this one's just, I don't know, it's like too close to the road. The road is like right there. And there's these hunters that come sometimes um, and just park like right there and then go off and hunt in those fields and they come at like four in the morning. So sometimes we've woken up and seen a truck like 10 feet away from the bus, which just doesn't feel great. So uh, plus we don't really care for hunting. So we're going to move the bus way to the back side of the property. We'll get a better view and, um, and I think we're going to try and hang a tarp. So this video is just going to be a nice productive one. It's GSD. One thing we couldn't get rid of. The sweet backup beep. By sweet, I mean really annoying. We actually hate the backup beep. So we're driving over to the new spot that we picked out. This is... There are 13 acres total on this property, so there are lots of different options for where we can actually park the bus. But there's one little area that's already kind of leveled out, and that's the big thing because we don't have a lot of tools with us. We don't have like a shovel or anything like that that we can really level everything. Huh, so that's fine. Okay, we are not on a road right now. We're fully off-roading off right now. <laughs> so I guess we'll catch up with you guys in just a sec when we get to the new spot. Hopefully it's a good one. It has a really, really good view. That's mainly why we chose it. Backing up to our spot. It's gonna be somewhere back here. Getting kitties water? This is how I fill up water these days. <laughs> Cool. Well, come on out. So this spot is awesome, but it's like super overgrown. It's totally, yeah. totally overgrown. We kind of just backed into the weeds. So tomorrow we're going to come out here with some machetes and just hack all of this down. And um, we want to get some chicken wire and kind of do a perimeter around yeah. the bus so that the cats can have free reign because there are wild hogs out oh, here. Oh shit, the door's open. The doors are open. Did she get out? No. Wow, we suck. So okay, we well that was the thing that we just about to say. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to make a perimeter around here. Um, I just, I'm staggered by this view, honey. I can't yeah. even talk right now because it's like, I mean, look right behind, like that, there's just like these beautiful palm trees and like, ah, uh, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. Okay. As he was just saying, there are wild hogs out here and that's like one big thing that we have to be aware of with the cats. So like owls are kind of a concern, although the cats are a little bit too big to have to worry about that. But there are, are tons of wild hogs that live out here and they hunt at night, but we still can't let the cats just roam during the day until we get some sort of fencing or something figured out but anyway yeah exactly there are tons of spiders and insects and all that good stuff out here so i think we're just going to seal up the screens we did have them so that they popped out but for one the cats figured out how to escape really yeah. quickly and they've escaped the bus quite a few times like every time we've left them yeah so we've had to duct tape the, t the windows in anyway so i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna seal these screens uh so that we don't get any buggies actually one of my good friends emily came out and did some rooftop tent camping um 
about a month ago. And her first car that she got was infested with roaches. And that just got me thinking, like, I really would hate to open up the kitchen cabinet and have it infested with roaches. So we're going to take every measure we can to keep buggies out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to clear this whole entire area, do a circumference so the cats can run around. Where do you think we're going to put the... Gosh, isn't that crazy? Ocean? Ocean. Crazy. Anyway, where do you think we're going to put the deck? On this side or the other side? This side. So... I kind of want to do a wraparound deck now. Well, let me show them from the door. So basically... Obviously, this is where the door is, so the deck will probably start like right at the base of that. You know what I want to do? I just realized, babe. What? Here's the thing I want to do. Deck starts here, and then come on out, and it goes out to here, right? And then it'll go all the way back, but check this out. So if we send it all the way back here, because of the way the land is, we can wrap it around because it starts sloping down right by where the bus is, and huh. actually have the back of the deck wrap around over here. So that there's decking right here. Oh, well, that'd be cool. And then we can sit right here on chairs and watch the sun go down. And then that window right there pops open so the kitties could come so in and out. We could have like a fire pit right there. That'd be awesome. Awesome. Sweet. It's gonna be sweet. Alrighty, <sighs> there's like a spider making a web right here. Okay. That's all right. Spiders need homes too. All right, I should probably get some shoes on because there's a whole lot of weird stuff happening out here. We kind of just wanted to touch base with you guys on what it is that's going on here in Hawaii because things have changed quite a bit. When we first came to Maui, it was through a work exchange program essentially with um, Camp Maui X and we did a lot of work with that with the, for the first like six weeks that we were here. Had a lot of fun rooftop tent camping, um, but you guys didn't really seem to like those videos i mean just to be honest you guys didn't really seem to like those videos a ton because they're some of our lowest viewed videos in the past couple months and i don't even know what to say because i feel awkward so i'm going to pass the camera to chad <laughs> things are weird okay yeah so we're not doing any more work with camp maui x uh we're going to be doing strictly a work exchange on the land that we're staying on yeah. so which works out way better for us because that means we don't have to leave our bus leave our kitties and feel obligated to take vehicles out um, and make content in them. It's gonna be much easier to just do this work exchange here on the land. So, what's happening there, uh, this amazing family that we're very quickly falling in love with has kind of taken us in and allowed us to uh, set up on the property. We've already explained all that to you guys. This property is spiritual. I can't even, I got chills too, baby, that's amazing. <laughs> this land is unbelievable. Uh, we are incredibly blessed to be here and we're gonna be doing a lot of work here. We're gonna be helping with the land in general. We're gonna be helping with general upkeep. It's kind of worked out perfectly because um, basically it's a single mother who lives here and she needs a lot of help. She has four kids ranging from one year to 10 years old and it's an incredible amount of work. There's a pig, two goats, a dozen chickens, two cats, three cats, two dogs, yep. four kids, uh, a, a house that they're renting out, and 13 acres. Yeah, it's a That's lot. That's way too much work for one person. Uh, the other really cool thing is, you know, is, is I can kind of be the handyman on the property, and Zana can help out with some of the nannying stuff, because yeah. we just naturally fit right into those roles. Um, the other really, really cool thing that I just want to say, um, the mother, I don't even know, what, how do I refer to her? Well, we haven't asked her yet if we can mention her name in these videos. So, I so until just... then, she's the Maui Medicine Mama. Okay, yes. <laughs> Maui Medicine Mama, she is a Reiki master. She is a, like, knows all of these different things about herbology and kind of like family nutrition and how to heal with herbs and how to heal naturally rather than having to go to the doctor and put tons of crap essentially yeah. in your body antibiotics and stuff so that's a lot of stuff that i'm really really interested in as you guys know i'm vegan and i really really love learning about plant-based nutrition it's completely transformed my life and really learning the science behind some of these things is just it, it excites me it gets me on fire and a lot of you guys might know that chad and i want to have a baby within the next year or two we're not exactly sure and i really want to get my body in like the healthiest condition it, it can possibly be in before i try to get pregnant um, so I think that being here is just gonna everything's perfect we can't we're gonna go Amazing. much more into the detail of this work exchange and how just beautifully perfect it's it divine. is we can't believe you know when we came to Maui we were like we can't believe we're here we can't believe we're doing work with Camp Maui X and as things have developed further now we're like we can't believe we're here we can't believe we're doing work with this family we can't believe we're 
given the opportunity to be on this land and to learn an incredible amount of things that we're already really, really interested in. Um, and connect with people who, yeah, just are right on our level. warm our souls. I mean, our first conversation with the uh, Maui Medicine Mama, our first conversation we ever had, I mean, I started crying because I was like, this is, it was just so perfect. perfect. It was perfect. And we all were just sitting there bawling because we just all three realized like we manifested this. Each other. This is what was truly being manifested the entire time. Yeah. Um, yeah. We so. just feel so grateful and we're so happy to be in Maui and it was such a process getting here. You guys, like, we haven't we haven't gone in fully into the entire process of getting here, but it has been a lot of work, a lot of obstacles to overcome. But to be here right now, like... Unbelievable. I'm going to start crying again. So much gratitude. <laughs> Our battery light's flashing, so... Okay. <laughs> we should probably just cut this off before the battery dies. All right. So obviously we don't have many luxuries in the bus at all. In fact, we have just the bed basically right now. We don't even have power run. We don't have running water. Um, we really don't have much of anything. Uh, so this is going to be a slower build transition. We're obviously going to get back to it and hit the ground running. We've also spent a lot of money like moving to Hawaii. Yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> so we don't have like thousands of dollars laying around to spend on solar. So I think right now something that we've been lacking for the past couple nights that we've been here is power in the bus. Because as soon as the sun goes down, we have no lights in here. We can't watch any Netflix or anything. We can't charge our cell phone. So we actually bought a hundred foot extension cord from Home Depot and we're gonna run it from the house that's also part of the reason why we chose this spot we're gonna run it from the house down to here and have power and have power the other really cool thing is um, they're allowing us to use their other refrigerator yeah which is downstairs kind of in the kids area so we have a fridge down there and we can use the bathroom um, not ideal, shower but... yeah it's not ideal but for now you know we, we we still have the things that we need we have our necessities and we're living in the bus and we're making it work and, and life is great the fact that we have it as an option like the fact that they have two fridges and we can use one of them like that's amazing yeah, it's such a it's blessing amazing. everything is perfect you guys manifesting your dreams it's <sighs> just get started Got our 200 feet. Actually, we got 300 feet because I wasn't sure how much we were really going to need. But we're probably going to be returning about 100 feet of extension cable. It gets dark here so fast. It's crazy. Sun is down. This is like the end of our evening here. Let's get some power. Let's get some power so we can blast it up again. So we have this six prong plug in in the time of re moment of reckoning. Uh... Oh. Well, actually, the real moment of reckoning is plugging this. We got this for like 15 bucks at Home Depot, and it has like a little organizer. And then this light bulb is the one from the bus. It's the color changing one. If you guys haven't checked this out on Amazon, I'll link it below because it's a really, awesome really light bulb. Cool. The remote, it comes with the remote control, and it only uses a maximum of seven watts. And if you're wondering what lights are on right here, it's because the bus is turned on. I'm using the lights that plug into the bus. Oh, wow. Ah! Wait, let me turn this off. It's up. There you go. All right. And we have a light. Whoa. But this light bulb is super cool because it comes with this remote control. And if you've been following us for long enough, you know about this remote control. You can do whatever you want. Oh, no. I think the batteries are dead. So, bing, bam, boom. We got new light. New Batteries. Let's get romantic or creepy. Oh, hey, lady. Good morning. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Can you tell them what we just saw? Like eight deer right out our back window. Are you going to try to show them? Maybe if I can. It's hard to see. Oh, here come the whoppers. The pups were just trying to check out the deers. And now uh, the show is over. It's, uh, it's about six in the morning. And there was a whole family of deer right outside our back window there this morning. It was amazing. Um, sorry, I'm shaking because it's kind of chilly. Um, so we woke up to this view, slept really well last night, we had a little bit of a slant, so we're going to fix that today. 
All right, well, I think that's probably gonna do it for this video, friends. Thanks for watching another one. Um, we look forward to making a lot more just vlogs about our life while we're here in Hawaii. So really hope you guys are enjoying them and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye guys. Live zealously.